for our reusable paper towels, I'm going to show you this size. It's about 6 by 11. It ends up being about the size of those select size paper towels. So you have the option to also put snaps on the sides so that you can kind of store them in the more traditional paper towel way. So you can do that if you'd like. You can roll them up that way or you can also do roll them up this way. So it's up to you, you can add those or not. And for this project, you'll need flannel. So I'm using just a regular flannel and then terry cloth material, or you can use an old towel, it's up to you. You'll need a rotary cutter, a ruler, an acrylic ruler, self-healing mat. If you don't wanna use those, you can always use a ruler, marking tool and some fabric scissors and then pins to pin so that you can sew. You'll need your sewing machine, thread, and then this is the this is the little kit. Whoops, it's open. This is the kit for the snaps. So I recommend just going to your local hobby store and it all came in a kit. There's the snaps and then the little tool that you'll need to tighten it and also the tool to make the holes. So those are the supplies that you'll need. Let's make one. So to start, I have my, it's about six and a half by 11 and a half. I already cut that piece out of my flannel and now I'm going to cut out of my terry cloth. To make it a little bit easier, I'm just gonna lay my flannel on top of the terry cloth and then I'm just gonna use my ruler and I'm, not, I'm trying not to get this edge. This is the selvage edge and you don't want to cut with that. And I'm just gonna trim it that way so I know they're exactly the same size. And then, let's see. Get that out of the way. So now we have our flannel and our terry cloth. So same size on both of those. And if you like a different size, feel free. You can adjust the size as you want. I just mostly use those smaller ones, so I decided to do that. Now you're going to put right sides together. So that's the pretty side of your fabric on your towel material. And then you're going to pin. So when you take it to the sewing machine, you're going to leave about two or three inches of an opening so you'll back stitch sew all the way around and then when you finish you'll back stitch and then there'll be a opening so we can turn it later so i'm just going to pin a few places if you need to sometimes it's a good idea to you like mark the beginning and the end so you don't forget and just sew it shut. So that's another option. So right now I'm gonna take you to the sewing machine and I'll meet you back here in just a little bit. Okay, so I just got back from the sewing machine. I started here, I back stitched, I sewed all the way around, finished here and then I back stitch again. So the next thing you'll want to do is to trim off your corners, being sure not to trim off any of those stitch lines. So cut those off. So you're just trying to get as much of that bulk out of there as you can. So when you turn it, you'll have nice crisp corners. So right here, you're just going to go from that opening and you're gonna turn it right side out. And then I like to just shimmy these corners out. Okay, so there's your towel. Now you have this hole, so we're going to kind of fold in that towel edge, fold in your flannel edge, and you're gonna flatten it out to make your seam. 
So you can either, you have a few options here, you can just pin it closed and then take it to the sewing machine or you can get your iron out, your ironing board and then make this nice and flat and make sure that those are nice and crisp. That's up to you. So at this point, you'll just want to top stitch all the way around and then making sure that you're closing up that opening. So when you start, you make sure to back stitch and then when you finish back stitch and then I will meet you back here after I sew it together. Okay, so I just finished top stitching all the way around and I make sure to get that opening sewn shut. So now if you want to do the optional snaps, then I will show you how. So let's lay them out. So you'll just want to make sure that you're getting them all lined up. So I'm going to keep my, the way that I'm doing it this way. The first step is to poke the hole. And so depending on the size of the snaps that you have, these two pieces, you can change out depending on the size. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stack them up how I want them to attach. And I'm going to take my, this is a, the tool that they recommend. And I'm gonna poke through all of those layers. And so then I know I'll use one of these that has a post on it. So I know I'm gonna use that for the back. Let me go ahead and put that one in there. And I know I'll use one in the front. I think I'm gonna do the same on the other side. So line them up, poke through all those layers. Get your front post. And I'm sure all of these are different. If there's a different brand, I'm sure they're all a little bit different, but same concept. Okay, so I have the front and the back. And now, you'll need one of these. Oops. So you'll need this one on one side. And then you'll need this one on the other side. So just make sure you have the correct piece. So now I'm going to lay that on there. You put the flat side where that black piece is, line it up in there. And then you just, all you do is press down and it should connect them. And do the same thing up here. Line up black piece with the smooth side and then go ahead and squeeze it so those should be attached let's do the same thing for the bottom so line the black with the smooth side Okay, now we test. So connect those, connect those. We should be good. So then you can just keep adding. You'll do another set here and then you are done. So now, like I was saying before, you can roll them up. And then when you need one, Snap it off and you're good to go.